Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at adding three digit numbers. So kind of going to show you a couple of ways of doing this. And of course, uh, the method that I learned some long time ago. But let's get started with the first question here. We've got 275 and 123. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the two numbers on top of each other. So I've got 275 and 123. Now, the reason I want to stack it like this is because I want to line up all the ones column together, uh, all the tens column together. And then, of course, I'm going to stack all the hundreds column together. So when I actually add this, I'm looking at the 5 and 3, which is in the ones column. That's going to add up to 8. 7 and 2, which makes 9 on the tens column. And then you've got 2 and 1 in the hundreds column, which makes 3. Straightforward, no issues. Um, however, when you look at that second example is where we start facing some difficulties. So how does this work? We're going to put 278 and 1, 2, 3. And I guess the first thing you kind of do is like, okay, let's see, we've got ones column here. Uh, then we've got our tens. And then we've got our 100s column. Now, I guess the straight issue is like when we add them together straight away, we've got 8 plus 3, which happens to be 11. Um, and I guess you kind of go, well, where does this one kind of go? You know, where the second one that we have. Um, and so you kind of go, well, you can't put it in there. So, and I guess this is where you might actually see like the, uh, you know, the way that I got taught. And I'm just going to kind of show here on the side. And we're going to come back to this and explain what happens to that one. But the way I got taught was this. So 278 and 123. And I still remember when I was, I don't know, what whatever year, year that was, my teacher basically said, you go 8 plus 3, that's 11. So you're going to put a 1 here. And because it's 11, we're going to add that 1 on top. Now, I never understood why they did it. But she just told me this is the way we do it. And I was like, okay, fine, let's let's do this. So anyway, the next step is you actually add those three numbers. You add 1, 7, and 2, which gives you 10. So, and again, I don't have a place to put that second number. Um, so again, she said, I'll take the 1 and put it on top. And I was like, again, I don't understand why we're putting it on the top. Anyway, what worked out is, we, you know, you kind of add the 1, 2, and 1, you get 4 or 1. Great. You know, that's the right answer. But I never really kind of understood why that was happening. Anyway, let's go back to here, right? And I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these numbers up. And I'm going to show you guys why we do that, adding that one on top. Um, I'm looking, I'm talking about these ones right here. So if you think about it, when we take um, 278, we can actually write this as 200 uh, plus 70 uh, plus 8. Because if you think about it, 2 is in the hundreds column, which is the same thing as saying 200. 7 is in the tens column, so it's 70. Uh, and then we've got 8, which is in the ones column, so it's going to be just 8. So if we look at 123, we can split that up as 100 uh, plus 20 and plus 3. Now, because we're adding these two numbers, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding, um, I'm going to be adding the numbers in a different way. So think about it like this. I'm going to add 200 and 100 to get 300. Uh, 70 and 20, when I add 70 and 20, I'm going to get 90. And then 8 and 3, when I add 8 and 3, I'm actually going to get 11. So what I've got here is 300 plus 90 plus 11. Um, and again, this is taking a very long time to do this. Um, when you add it up again, so we've got 300 plus 90, uh, that's going to be 390 plus 11. Now, you could split the 11 up. And I mean, geez, this is just taking so long. So you got 390 plus 10 plus 1 almost. You know, you split it up like that. So what have you got? We've got 400 plus 1 and 401. And to be honest, uh, I go back to what my teacher said back like, I don't know, 30 years ago, 35 years ago. I can't even remember. It's like, okay, so this is how you do it. Um, pretty much you add the ones column and then whatever number you have on the end, um, you kind of have to carry it over. And the reason is because if you think about it, um, 8 and 3 actually sp splits into 11, which means you've got one in the tens column and then you've got the other one in the ones column. And I guess that's why that number goes up. So quickly doing another question, all right? Let's just wrap it up real quickly, this one. So let's say something like 479 plus 543. All right, let's say you want to do something like that. Uh, so we've got 9 and 3. That's going to make 12. Uh, so I'm going to chuck on 2. And, of course, because now I've got 12, there I've got to add 1 in the tens column. And that's what's happening here. 
Um, and of course, if I add uh, 1 plus 7 plus 4, that's going to be another 12. But remember that now this is actually, the 1 is actually going to end up in the hundreds column. So then we've got 5 plus 4 plus 1, which is actually equal to 10. And we can't really take this 1 any further, so we're just going to leave that right there in the front. So 1,022. Um, you know, it's always a good idea to check. Um, and I know I'm kind of using this really kind of complex calculator here, but, um, you know, when you do get to uh, level 1, year 11, you kind of start using this calculator. I at least hope they change it by that time, but who knows what it's going to look like. 1,022. All right, guys, as you said, like second method, I'm looking at particularly this method here. Jeez, that is long. You know, you're not expected to do that. Um, if you are comfortable with what I've done in this green box, that is absolutely fine. Cool. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.